Bendy, showing his family. Peace. Alafia. Man, I'm out here <clears throat> just leaving Mama Ushun. You know, I come out. <clears throat> for those who don't know, you know, Ushun is who rules my feet. She can be considered my mother. Eshu is who rules my Ori, my father. So, you know, I come out to take care of Oshun, you know, once in a while as well. But I'm out here in nature, man. As you see, let me see if I can get it. Ah. Okay. So, yeah, you know, we out here in nature, man. Yeah. Yeah. So I just wanted I just wanted to holler man the cultural revolution starts now. You know, and people ask like what do I mean by that? Because I often talk about the cultural revolution. And the cultural revolution is what's needed to truly progress as a people and to truly uh bring balance. All right. Um, our ancestors, man. Our ancestors shed so much blood um, that these days the blood is not what's needed to be shed. It's the it's the changing of the mentality, the changing of the habits. Um, the cultural aspects have to now come into play in order to make that bloodshed um, effective. In today's time you see and you know when we look at events like the Haitian Revolution um, all of the wars that broke out in the Caribbean when we look at all the revolts that happened in America you know those things led to us now even you know when you look at the civil rights movement right all of these things led to where we are now where the only thing in our way is our own self. All the other stuff, culture can move it right on out the way. You know, various aspects of tradition, various aspects of culture is what's needed now to truly build off of what our ancestors have laid before us. You see? Um, and that's what I'm about, man. The cultural revolution. That's why I'm so hard on aspects of the traditions and things like that, because I understand the value and the importance of it. This is not a fad for me. This is a lifestyle. You see what I'm saying? And when your traditions of your ancestors become a lifestyle, you will notice big changes. You see, cultural dictates what you do with your resources and how you attain them these are all things that are cultural you see uh so as we are taking advantage of these new opportunities that might be in front of us because the cultural aspects aren't there we're not able to truly build off of it and so this is how you can get an nba full of millionaires but no black owned league the culture, the culture, the culture, the culture, the culture. Huh? That's why. The culture is not facilitating that. And so that's why you get this individualistic mindset towards life. This individualistic mindset towards um, your people. You know, where it become a, I'm a boss. I'm stunning. I'm a this. I'm a that. But what about your people as a whole? You see? What about the all? Culture facilitates that. And that's why I'm one that is going to consistently preach the importance of culture. Culture is what led to those revolts. Culture is what led to the Haitian Revolution. This is what people don't understand. When you're in touch with culture... It will lead you to the strategy of war necessary 
in order to um, achieve the goal that you're looking to achieve. You know, the, the culture is going to facilitate that. And so because Haiti had various cultures from West Africa that were blending together, this is what we see led to the Haitian Revolution. You see, it was the culture that facilitated that. And the same thing happened in Jamaica and all over the Caribbean, okay? The culture is what was facilitating the revolts. The culture is what was facilitating the revolutions. And the culture is what led to the eventual freedom that we see today. Anything that you perceive as an obstacle is easily movable with culture and the reason that I'm, I'm pushing this is because I've seen it in my own life and my family's life you know and um, other people amongst the traditions and I've seen the changes that culture brought to them and so culture and tradition is very important um, without the culture without the tradition you're never going to hold on to the wealth and you're never going to be able to build effectively as a people. And that's why there's such a concerted effort to suppress the culture. There's a concerted effort to suppress you coming into the power that comes with culture. There are charlatans in the community that prey on culture and further push you away from it when they scam you. All of this is working together. That's why I can come on here and not care about striking down people that's abusing the culture or um, facilitating wrong information, things like that. There's a reason for that. Because I understand the significance. I understand, you know, the, um, the deeper meaning behind that. Where the average person might not yet but they will as they walk further into the journey and see what it does for them. And when I say further into the journey, I'm talking about really connecting with roots. When you are a person that truly connect to a Loa, to an Orisha, to an Mpungo, what you're going to see is why I'm the way I am and you're going to see the power in that in those traditions you know and so that's why I say the cultural revolution starts now you know me personally I'm one that um, is going to always be pushing pushing and pushing for culture always No matter who likes it or who doesn't. The importance of culture, man. The importance of culture. Family, as you continue these journeys, you will see. And that's why I make it a point to try to connect you to authentic teachers, authentic people. Because I want you guys to be able um, to have the real experience. You know, to have the real experience. That's why I decided to really come on to YouTube. I've been in a culture a long time, but I've only been teaching on YouTube for a year. And, you know, within that year, I was able to, now we've reached 5,000 subscribers as of now. That number will grow, right? And why was I able to do that is because I'm a person that's true to the culture and people that are true to the culture know that and they follow it. That's it. If, if, if a person that's claiming to be Ifa, if a person that's claiming to be Voodoo, you seeing them have problems with people that's really in the practice, that's true practitioners, you got to second guess those people. Why would you not like a person that's being strict on the principles of the tradition? Why would you not like them? Is it because you're scamming? 
Is it because you're not being true to it? What's the reason? You understand? You guys got to ask these questions, right? Why would a person that's acting like they're a good cop dislike an honest cop? Is it because you're really a crooked cop? See? This is things that you have to ask yourself. These are things you have to ask yourself because my resume speaks for itself. The cultural revolution, as you tap into your root, as you tap deeper into your traditional indigenous practices, you're going to see what I'm talking about. When you start getting away from some of this new agey stuff and really connect to the spirits of your ancestors of the land that came with your blood, your lineage, you will understand what I'm saying. And you will find yourself. See, a lot of people that have been following these new age movements for a long time, man, they still have not found themselves. And there's a reason for why they have not found themselves. There's a reason for that. See, a lot of these information that you're seeing now is whitewashed information. This is information that came from white philosophers that put their imprint on things like Buddhism and Hinduism and put their spin on it. You're not even getting the real one. See, when you go into an African traditional religion, you're getting it from the people that brought it forth. It's not whitewashed. You're getting it from the source. You understand? You're getting it from people that's still in it. That's the difference. The cultural revolution, man. Nothing like culture. When you connect with the culture, you will connect with victory. Everything else will line up. See, imagine this, right? People connecting back to culture what will happen is they will start to take on the values of that culture. You will see less single parent households. You will see more families. You will see more independence from the system because see, a lot of these uh, traditional practices come with living off of your own land, growing your own food, growing your own animals. Huh? And as you're doing this, you need the system less and less and less and less. That's the real independence. That comes with culture, though. You see, um, in voodoo, most societies are connected to land that they till themselves. There's an element of farming. There's an element of um, animal husbandry there. You know what I'm saying? And so basically... It's the same thing with mostly all of these traditions. You're going to find an element of self-sufficiency within the tradition. Self-sufficiency. That's what culture facilitates. Self-sufficiency. Lacking. And with that self-sufficiency comes self-accountability. You begin to hold yourself accountable. You begin to hold your brother and sister accountable for their actions. This is how you build a society, family. Because the ones that are now self-sufficient, they have a tendency to come together in one way or another and build. The cultural revolution is here. Why do these other societies come into America, these other groups of people come into America and do their numbers? Because they have a culture attached to them that they sticking to. That's it. No culture, no building. It'll be a bunch of superstars and not a good team. That's what happens when you don't have culture. You get a bunch of superstars, but you don't get a good team. The cultural revolution is here. That's why I started my mentorship. Because I wanted people to be able to come into culture in a way that was affordable. Because you see, a lot of these traditions, they're guarded for good reason. 
So really to get in, it cost a lot of money to really get to certain people. And it's a reason for that. Because anybody can't just come in. You have to be serious. It cannot be a fad. You got to invest in that. And they got to know that today you're not just jumping into it because you seen Beyonce serving Oshun. They got to know that today you're not just jumping into it because Jay-Z said that Shango is his saint. That is why. And they need to know that you are willing to give back to the tribes that brought it forth. Because you didn't grow learning at the feet of an elder. You didn't grow learning at the feet of a respected Baba or Ayanifa in the community. So you got to take care of the village, man. Period. So I understand that part of it. But I also understand that there is a, a need for people that are wanting to come into the tradition to come into it, to be able to slowly walk into the traditions, you know, um, a middle ground so that people can then become immersed into the traditions, right, over time. Because this is the, these are the journeys that take time, man. This is not overnight journeys and overnight stuff. This is things that you are learning over time and you're developing and you're connecting deeper and deeper. All the information you're not ready for, trust me. Trust me. And with new information come new responsibilities. And those responsibilities cannot be broken. See, that's the other part of tradition. And so that is why I created my mentorship so that people can have a middle ground that's affordable so they can come and they can learn and build their life up step by step by step by step until they're able to fully immerse themselves in the practice and, and, and be able to fully, you know, be a part of that, you know, as they should. Ah. So yeah, family, that's what that's about, man. That's what that's about. You know, until then, y'all keep learning from the authentic teachers, learning the principles. See, the, these traditions are so powerful that just even the principles can help you through life. Just even understanding the mythologies and the different things like that can help you. Everything is not always needing to be a working Everything doesn't have to always be, you know, putting in rituals and things like that. You understand? Some things is basically just knowing the principles is enough to get you by certain situations. And that's real talk. You see? Um, so that's why it's important to be really studying, man. And for those who don't uh, know authentic people, follow my channel, subscribe to my channel. I'm constantly bringing forth, you know, people that, that uh, are authentic in the practice. And then just the content I post myself, I'm in the practices, you know? Yeah, so, you know, with that being said, family, you know, y'all keep learning out here, man. Keep walking your journey, your guides, will take you to where you need to go your guides will take you to the teachers that you need to meet your guides will bring you everything that you need to truly walk in your way but you gotta listen man you can't ignore spirits and ancestors when they show you what you need to see you cannot do that you gotta listen okay and as long as you listening you'll be alright you know so, with that being said, family, it's been real. Thank you for everybody that helped me to reach 5K. 5K subscribers, we riding high. 5K. You know what I mean? And um, I see y'all in the next one, man. I, uh, since we hit this 5K, I'm going to definitely now be uploading more. And y'all got to be 
sharing the content, getting it out there to people, being a part of that cultural revolution. You know what I mean? I should.